Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, The Bad Wolf, and today, Omnigeddon continues with our November haul. Welcome back, True Believers. I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics, and Omnigeddon continues with this month's November haul. This month has some of the best books I've been waiting for all year long. Now, I know I said the October haul was the biggest of the year, uh, but I also said that I possibly might buy more books because I may have a problem. So I, I did discover a few new books, so I decided to go ahead and pick those up, and we did actually exceed the October haul by a few books. I'm going to stack all these boxes right here, and we're going to start pulling books. Don't go away, true believers. We're just getting started. All right, we're going to start with a book that I just it came in a little sleeve, so I just went ahead and opened it. Uh, it's it's also kind of tragic. So the first book we got was Batman and Spawn Classic Collection. Now, what makes this tragic, folks, as soon as this showed up, I saw online that they solicited a deluxe edition of this book, making this book practically useless to me. But it's fine. My little brother is big into Batman as well, so I think he, I'm going to gift this to him. Maybe he'll get this for Christmas. Who knows? Let's move on. All right, so here's our first box. All my stuff is purchased from Organic Price Books. For those of you that shop at Organic Price Books, don't forget to use the code BADWOLF during checkout for $2 off your order. All right, as usual, impeccable OPB packaging. We got our little note to the UPS inspector here, letting them know that everything's okay with this, that it's not a comic book, it's actually a graphic novel. There is a difference. But once again, wrapped impeccably in bubble wrap. I love it. Put that over there. All right. First on our November haul list. I'm telling you, there are a lot of books here I've been waiting a long time for. Some good X books. But man, some of the best books of the year are here. And this is one of them. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but... I am a huge Firefly fan, and this is our newest addition to the Firefly books, uh, Return to Earth It Was. Super excited to get into this, folks. I've got all the rest of them up here. I haven't started those either because, as you all know, I have a really large back reading log. Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of the lock and key set, so keep an eye out for that. All right, moving on. Let's put that down there. What do we have here in a smaller one? Ah, yes. So, JP at Organic Price Books actually has a surplus of these slipcases. Uh, so, he's actually went ahead and started packaging some books. You'll, some of you may have actually already seen this if you shop at Organic Price Books, where we're getting the Something is Killing the Children slipcase uh, to, to help protect a smaller book, which is great. I, you know, great creative way to get rid of some extra stock. Um, I might actually find a way to take that sticker off and Maybe replace the one that I have if it gets dirty or just keep it as a backup. Who knows? We'll pull this out here. Probably put that aside. Let's get rid of the box. And this is Batman Shadow War. Another great book that I'm looking forward to reading. Uh, just the story looked really good and it's Batman. Come on. It's a kind of a no-brainer. So we picked that up. Not here. Next. Love the little bookmarks that we get, JP. I got a stack of these. Thank you. I will never run out of bookmarks. Lots of paper pack in here. Just making sure I got everything. Put that aside. What is this, my friends? All right. So we have Excalibur, Volume Two of the new series. Whoops. Stay there. Looking forward to reading all the new stuff. I haven't really touched a lot of the new stuff yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting until everything's released and then I'll go, go through it. But again, I have a huge reading backlog, so this just kind of goes into the pile. Next on our list, let's take a look. It's like Christmas early, man, because honestly, uh, the December hauls, well, it might be. It might be about the same because I got a lot of books that I expected in this haul, uh, but they, they were back ordered, so they actually ended up coming next haul. They're already in shipment, but... Uh, they just didn't make it in time for today's video. All right, what do we have here? Some of my favorite videos to make, man. I finally get new books on the shelves and all these boxes out of my studio. 
funny thing though, because as soon as these are gone, I literally have uh, another set of stuff coming like tomorrow. Okay, so. So you may not know because we don't talk about it much here on a comic book channel is uh, I am a huge, huge Game of Thrones fan. Um, I'm one of those folks that I didn't even know about the books existed until uh, the end of season one. I watched season one of Game of Thrones and I was so hooked on the show at that point. I literally went and bought all the books and then I binge read the books. It took me a, you know about a month or so, a couple months actually to read all the books. And now, like a lot of you book junkies, I am seriously just sitting here waiting for Mr. Martin to complete his next book. But I did not know these existed. They made graphic novels out of the Game of Thrones books. They made four volumes per book. And I started picking these up here. And these are the first uh, two. No, these are the three and four of Clash of Kings. So they made volumes one through four of Game of Thrones. And then volumes one through four of Clash of Kings is where we're at now. Uh, so I, I, if I remember correctly, A Feast of Crows should be next. And uh, so they'll make four volumes of that and so on until they get to the last books. But uh, Clash of Kings, volume three and four. Let's move on. All right, let's see what we got here. More bookmarks. More paper. Now, see, I... I keep all of this. I keep all of this packaging because, well, first of all, packaging is freaking expensive. And second of all, these little notes are nice. So if I ever sell any books, I can just pop them into the package when I when I sell them. So let's take a look what else we got here. All right, let's see. So I open the boxes to make sure what's in them, but I don't actually open the plastics. I like to do that here with you folks. Okay, so we got some other good stuff here and another oh, moment. So let's take a look here. So first, our oh, moment. So I decided after the cancellation of the last solicitation of the Batman Turtles omnibus that I was just going to go ahead and get them because I didn't know when they were going to come out. So I got volume two. <laughs> and like the day after this shipped, I, I got a notification that it, it's possible that it's, it's being solicited again. So... We'll see again if the great thing about all these Batman books is my little brother is big into Batman. By the way, when I say little brother, you probably think of some little kid, but you know, I'm, I'm 44, so my little brother's in his 30s. But uh, uh, this is a book that I will probably gift to him uh, for his birthday or Christmas. He's got a lot of stuff for me. It always happens. I get extra books, I give them to my brother. Uh, and here we have Clash of Kings Volume 3. So wait, what did I get here? We have two Clash of Kings Volume 3, folks. Uh-oh, maybe I got two of these instead of one of the other ones. No worries, we'll figure it out. We always do. JP's great about that kind of stuff. Moving on. Uh, so this had a lot of controversy, uh, be mostly because of the price and because of the very few issues that are in it. But Strange Academy looked really good to me, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, it wasn't the 60, 70 bucks that everyone was saying it was because it was I got it, you know, an organic price books for a pretty decent price, but... Uh, it was still a little spendy for six issues, I gotta say, but anyway, moving on. Let's see here. Let's get this last one. On the bottom of the pile, we'll just stay right here. All right, moving on. Another bookmark. I feel like the bookmarks used to be better, guys. Like, they used to have Superhero JP and D on there, and, and now we kind of got some palm trees and some more generic stuff. And... You know what? Free bookmarks. I'm not going to look a gift JP in the mouth, so let's move on. So, let's see more of that impeccable packaging. Wow, all that all that packaging for one little book. I love it. So look. Ah, one of the banes of my comic existence, uh, one of the books I've been trying to find for a long time, is uh, A Batman by Neil Adams. Um, and it's not that I can't find them, it's that I refuse to pay more than $200 for a single book. I'm just not doing it. Uh, but in, in light of that, until they get a reprint, I did go ahead and pick up Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul uh, by Neil Adams. Uh, it looks really good, and it's Batman, and it's Ra's al Ghul. It's one of his greatest enemies. In fact, if you're playing Gotham Knights right now, you'll know how that ended. Check it out. All right, moving on. So I've actually been considering uh, doing some some more gaming stuff on the channel, um, but, but comic oriented, like you know, playing Gotham Knights 
or Spider-Man or Miles Morales on PC. I kind of want to know what you guys think. Is that something you guys would like to see? Um, or do you think I should just start a, a Bad Wolf gaming channel and put all the gaming stuff over there? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear about it. All right, let's moving on to this book here. Or this box here, I should say. <clears throat> You have no idea how much crap I have to pick up after all this video shooting is over. <laughs> Takes almost as long to clean up as it does to shoot the video. All right, and here. I've actually been kind of waiting for this one. It's another one of those X-Books I've been waiting for. If I can get into it. I mean, it's actually thicker than I thought it would be as opposed to the, a lot of the other ones, but uh, Hellions, Volume 1. I mean, who doesn't want to see Havoc? It kind of reminds me of like a, a new version of X-Factor. But I don't know because I haven't read any of this new stuff, so I need to go on a journey and figure it out. Next! All right. So, don't need that. Here's another one of our Something is Killing the Children slipcases. But what lies beneath is Task Force Z. I uh, read a synopsis about this. Red Hood's basically uh, leading a new team, and it's it, it, it sounds really good. Uh, it's I don't know. I'll read it. We'll do an overview of it, and or if you've already read it, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Another slipcase. Put that on the side. We're getting there, folks. About five more boxes to go, and then a lot of times there's only one book in the box, but the last few do have multiple books. Here, more paper lately. It's probably cheaper than using the bubble wrap all the time, but they still wrap the book in, in perfect bubble wrap, so that's great. All right, another smaller book. Oh yeah, I've been waiting on this one. Now this was just something that I saw and I bought it purely because Stan the Man's name is on it. Um, but it's not by Marvel Comics. What? It's not by Marvel Comics? That's right. Uh, this is by Stan Lee, Luke Lieberman, and Ryan Silbert and it's called Alliances. Uh, another book that I, I just, I saw it and it, it wasn't, I think the thing that intrigued me most, it's a dynamite book. It's not a Marvel book and it's got Stan Lee's name on it. Uh, but the story seemed like it was pretty decent. We're going to find out, True Believers. Another book that I'll overview and get back to you. All right. Well, this book's a little, or this, this box is a little heavier. Let's see now. A little bit heavier. Yep, a couple books in here. We're not a place to put all those boxes. All right. Okay, so this is a book that I will be reviewing for our Christmas review. This is called Claus, and it's the story of how Santa Claus came to be. And the story of how Santa Claus came to be, look at that picture. If you haven't read this, you know you want to. You're looking at it going, I want to know what happened. I want to know how Santa Claus became Santa Claus. He's got a big beefcake sword. Let's do this. All right. So the other great thing is it has these gold pages. I love it. It's by Boom Studios. And uh, this will be our Christmas overview uh, on, on uh, the Christmas weekend overview that I have. I'm going to do on this book here. So it's very fitting. I'm really glad I got it in time. But we're going to do an overview for this on Christmas Day. Well, Christmas 23rd, 24th, whenever the Saturday uh, ne ne nearest Christmas is. That's when we're going to review this. Looks really good. I love it. I bought this because it was made by Rick Remender, and it had a really dope cover. I mean, don't you just want to read that? Isn't every one of you zombie fans out there going, man, I kind of want to read that? And some by Rick Remender. So we're going to give it a shot, see how it is, get back to you on the, on the verdict. Three more to go, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Bookmark. Another letter to the postman. 
Oh yes. These folks are some of my most weighted books all year long. I'm super excited. Oh, still gotta cut it. I was hoping I could get away with it, but I cannot. Your X-Men fanboy is loving this shipment here. Ultimate X-Men, Volume 1, and Extreme X-Men, Volume 1. Super excited to read both of these books. I never got to read them in singles. However, I am going to complain about your white spine, guys. Roy, you know what we gotta do. We gotta fix this. I'll get to you soon. But uh, Ultimate X-Men looks great. I'm really excited to read both of them. All right, two more boxes left. That was probably my most excited for me. What do we got here, folks? Okay, now this is another one of those things that JP made a video and made me spend money. Thanks, JP. Appreciate you. Love you, man. <laughs> Which got the outcome that JP wanted. That's exactly why he makes those videos. That's exactly why he made that. To sell books. I've never really been a fan of this character, but after doing a little bit of looking at it and seeing how gorgeous this book was, I had to get the Lady Death Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, these things are selling out quick too, so if they're still available, don't sleep on it, man. Jump on that Lady Death right now uh, because it will be gone. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to check it out. It looked really good. JP and D did a, uh, uh, video overview of it and it just looks so sweet that I had to pick one up for myself. Luckily I got on the bandwagon right as you got a restock. So I don't know if these are still in stock. You want to check with JP, but if they are, don't sleep on it, guys. Grab them while you can, cause they're going to go. All right. Lady death. And last box and actually kind of the heaviest box. What do we got here, folks? I don't even remember. I have so many books, I don't even remember. Last month, we did about 17 or 18 books. This month, we are at 20, I believe. Oh, yes. Now, this one's kind of funny because I own the originals. And yet, I bought the reprints. Why? Because like I said before, guys, I have a problem. So, this is Miles Morales Volume 1. I have the originals, but I really I wanted the rebranded books with, for the Volume 1 and 2. Um, I actually still have the originals, I think even still sealed. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I might sell them, but I just might do a giveaway either at 500 subs or, or, or on the channel's birthday this summer. So who knows, but uh, I do have giveaways coming, folks. I'm just saving them for the milestones of the channel. Um, I, I was actually kind of waiting to get a thousand subs before I started doing giveaways, but if we hit a, if we hit the birthday first, I'll do that. I might even do a giveaway, like a smaller giveaway for the 500, but uh, we'll see. Stick around, true believers. That's going to happen. And this, oh gosh, I've been waiting for this beefcake for a long time. Avengers versus X-Men, man. Super excited. I already read that in, in the uh, OHC covers, but I don't think I read the companion yet, so I'll get to read all the extra stuff that I missed uh, in, in doing that, but... Uh, Man, this, it's, it's been a great haul, and uh, this month has turned out some great books, and we have 20 books exactly this month. Let's go to our final shot. And that's it for our November haul. This is Omnigeddon Part 2. Uh, probably the, this probably will be the largest one, but then again, I may have a problem, so we may buy more books. But we got an FOC dropping tomorrow, so I'll, I'll probably order some new books off that. Uh, if we get any other books that are out currently that I haven't uh, discovered yet, then we'll go ahead and get those. But for right now, uh, it is starting to wind down a little bit. Books do get moved and shifted. So uh, going forward, the, the halls probably won't be as large, but they're still going to be just as great with some great books. I got so, I've still got a lot of good stuff ordered uh, that are on its way. Uh, specifically like X-Factor Volume 2, Spider-Man Miles Morales Volume 2. I mean, we, the, the list will go on and on for a while. I just don't have it in front of me. But... Uh, that is our haul for November. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up this month. And uh, what are you guys reading right now? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. With that said, stick around, true believers. We're only getting better from here. I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.